But the kids. In I didn't see a single human being in the seven hours drive from Bangui to Bosangoa. Countless villages destroyed, burned, abandoned. Um, on reaching Bosangoa, um, there are tens of thousands of people who had fled from those villages that I described, some into the bush, and um, I think a UN estimation is, is 400,000 or so people in the bush, though that could be uh, an inaccurate number. That's uh, the number that's being quoted. I, I would not be surprised if the number were much greater. A, a completely abandoned population. And, it's and around this church, those 35,000 people are completely surrounded by armed group ex -Selica and they are afraid, and rightly so, to leave. So you have them, that 35,000 plus people just huddled there in a confined space um, and uh, in, in, a, in a very, very dire situation. The abuse of children, yes, absolutely. Abuse of women, abuse of boys and men. I think that the violence in the country is as bad as you can imagine on every level that you can imagine. People who had previously lived harmoniously are now uh, separated and their ethnicity is at the ab absolute top of their, the way that they are identified. So you're either Muslim or uh, Christian and that was never the case before. Open up. It's a lawless place, and and people are armed, and uh, and I, I I shudder to think, you know, where this is going. Without it seems that there are no grown-ups at the table, and you know, apart from the aid workers who are, are have made a decision to risk everything to try to sustain the most vulnerable people on earth. The seeds are present for a genocide. You have the ethnic components, you have the armed groups, you have ongoing atrocities of the worst kind, and you have a very, very imperiled civilian population.